Australia have lost their first wicket, which brings Ricky Ponting, the captain, to the crease, playing in his 250th game in one international cricket for Australia. Only two ahead of him. Alan Border, 273, and Steve Waugh, 325. Moving 42 throughout a magnificent career. Quite amazing, Daryl. You look at all the uh, the great players around the world, and, and there certainly have uh, been some amazing performances. That's the 100 for Australia, by the way. That's away. That's where Ponton wants them, and that's gone for four. He will not miss out in that region. Well, he hasn't quite finished what he was saying, and the ball was on him, and now it's gone for four. Yeah. Well, maybe a bit of desperation yet from South Africa. Graham Slitch is backing up here in front of us. Bit of turn. I was beaten him. Nicely played by uh, Ricky Ponting. Using the pace, just going with the turn. Edged wide. Unlucky. Got out like that in Durban. Bleeding for a wicket. Outside edge, genuinely. And he's put that one away too. Just straying down the leg side. He plays the pull shot so well, Ricky Ponting. Just rides with it. And immediately, Roger Telemarkus had to come straighter. Outside off stump. He'd have a thrash at it. If he got an edge, it wouldn't matter. So, Telemarkus comes straight. And Ponting puts it away. There's a man on the extra cover fence. And he's flipped that one over the top to again a leg side boundary. One short, one up. Doesn't matter to Ricky Ponting. It's the opportunity. Watch where this one is. It's on middle, but he flips it straight over the right, wicket. Right. It's a good deck. And uh, when you're in. Oh, 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 better. And that's the line outside the off stump. There's the attempted quicker one and uh, Ponting won't miss out on that, far too short. Probably would have been a wide and left it. But, uh, he knew once he got there he had to beat the man in the ring. Oh, he's gambled. I think he's picked that slower ball from Jacques Callas and he's gone after the short boundary and that's 20 rows back. Was it the slower delivery? I'm not sure it was. Did he roll the fingers? What do you think? Yeah, I think he picked it. I think there's something, you know, they, there's so much video analysis these days that there's some change in the action for Jacques Cullis before he arrives at the crease and, and Ponting and the uh, rest of the Australians have picked that up. It's gone again. And another one. Just drifting into the pads. This is going to cost them big time. Ricky Ponting. That's the area. That is the area. You, ha you hone in an off stump. Look how wide this is. And because he gets such a long way across, Ricky Ponting. That's where you can't bowl. That's three of them. All in the same area. All to the same type of delivery. So much time. Off the front foot, the pickup. Got to have such quick, ha quick hands. Pick the ball early. That's much better. This is a bit more luck involved in this one. He's spliced it over, but it's still gone for four. It's such a short boundary. He danced away on the hard ground, but again, you see, he just drops his head away on the drive through the offside. And fortune favours the brave. And that one he's hit in the air and again picked out the gap. Listen, uh, thinking about a second, no is the call. Limit as much as possible. The sweeper coming into play there. That's the end of the over. Oh, well, that's down the ground. It's going to go all the way. Don't worry about trying to catch that one. 
It just kept going. Three or four rows back, but enough. Tini straight back into things. It's right up there. Just showing us, and uh, he can take on the straight boundary as well. Yes, Ricky Ponting's got every shot in the book, and uh, one of the problems with him is uh, that short ball is not the sort of thing that's going to keep him quiet because uh, he's likely to, to hook the short ball into the scoreboard here. This is the straight drive as well, so he's, he's got all sorts of options. Nice feeling, wouldn't it? Captain of this outfit uh, with the scoreboard on 216 for one slightly, but uh, oh, Ponting is having a go, and that's gone through the field as well. Boy, this is lightning. This outfield is unbelievable. Look at that. I mean, that's just a front foot, back of a length, and he's driven it past extra cover. Bang! Goodness me, that is huge. That has gone out of the ground. Maybe on the lunch table in that block of flats. They headed over that. Yeah, Callis, you see there, strays onto the stumps, and that's where you can't bowl with a short boundary to Ricky Ponty. Another six. Around the wicket, Jack. Around the wicket. 250,000 Rand on offer from Standard Bank if one of the players hits that banner. Once one. Shot from Mark Barcher. Ricky Ponting has got three figures that has not been referred. Magnificent stuff from Ricky Ponting. Absolutely outstanding. What a remarkable player. That's his 20th 100. His teammates love that. Adam Gilchrist on his feet and applauding. Everyone else there as well. Short and wide and gets the treatment. Harfali, very well fielded. Aby de Villiers in the covers. That's going to be called a wide. It is. Cries of catch at. But no one there. There's a look at that uh, boundary. The last ball of the over. Just one handed, basically. Oh, he's hit that one, and that's gonna, it's gone as flat as attack for six. This is a different looking side, totally. Lots of intensity from Ricky Ponting, even though he's in a wonderful position. I just sense he's, he's looking at bigger things here. Oh, and uh, Ponting there, calling for a single, sending his colleague back, and then an overthrow. Yes. Down it goes to uh, mid on again. In comes the throw. And uh, back for the second is a fielder. Oh, that's six. That's straight. That's going straight over the top of the side screen. Oh, that's a great box down there, but they were, they were scattering all over the place. The best box in the house, straight down over the top of the standard bank sign at the far end. And Ricky Ponting has hit the ball straight into it. Well, he's heaved that one down the ground. Now, let's just see if we can pick this ball coming down over the top of the screen. Here it comes. And uh, there they go. Look out. Issue helmets around here. Yeah. Oh, not like that. That's six as well. That's gone way over the top of mid on. It's the length you spoke about. It's happy hour. It's been happy hour for a little while now. That's good bowling. Well, that's a full toss. It's going over the top. Will it go the other way? Yes, it is. All the way to Ponting of 99 deliveries. And there goes uh, yet another six. Right, so Ponting on 155. Plays that one through the offside again. No ball called as well. well it's uh, blazed away through the offside field for a single. Oh, and that one's disappeared as well. Another four. Well, how many in this over already? Two. 
too many. And the records are tumbling here, and this uh, this could uh, test uh, the record number of runs for an over as well. All these no balls. Tell him Marcus uh, once again finds himself in a situation where the fieldsman has gone back. It's Mackay and Tini's gone back to the boundary, and they have to have four in the circle. So uh, Tell him Marcus waiting for him to come back into the circle. So back in now. Oh, he's hit that way over the top as well. And he's got him. No, he's got him. That's a great catch. That's a wonderful catch. But Ricky Ponting leaves the stadium. The Wanderers Bull Ring have played an innings that will be remembered by everyone here for many a year. A standing ovation. Well played, Ricky Ponting. 407 for four.